Hello! Welcome to uh, Bethany Games. I am going to be doing another Sims 4 speed build today. Uh, today it's going to be in the world that came with Outdoor Retreat. It was the first expansion pack that was released for The Sims 4, but I only actually got it about a month or two, month or two ago. This is my first build that I have done in the world. And I'm really excited to show you because it's very different than uh, other builds that I've done. And uh, so it is a family getaway cabin retreat type thing. to keep most of the landscaping that was already in the lot that I chose to do. I just picked, uh, I think it was the cheapest lot option in that world. I don't remember what it was called, but it's probably in the top left hand corner of the screen. Uh, and yeah, so I just wanted to keep all of like the natural um, landscaping that was on the lot and then just rearrange it to fit the house that I was making for it to fit better. And then backyard I also, I kept most of the things there and just added in a few more items and just rearranged them again to fit the house that I was creating. So I decided to do a cabin because uh, it is that time of year that a lot of people would typically be heading towards co cottage country, but uh, I know 2020 isn't exactly the typical, so maybe if you wanted to live vicariously through the Sims for a little bit, uh, this is an option. <laughs> Right now I am figuring out the window situation. Um, I think the biggest feature, selling feature I think of this house would definitely be the dining room with all that beautiful natural lighting getting in there. I think it's gorgeous. The kitchen dining room combo is my favorite part of this house.
thing inside the kitchen is the first room that I do. Um, that happens with most of my builds. I'll usually start with the kitchen and kind of get a theme or like a, a vibe that I want to go for the rest of the house through that. Uh, and this kitchen is actually probably one of my favorite kitchens that I've ever done. It just turns out very, it just feels very family oriented. It feels very lived in, even though it's like a vacation home. Like, I love the the uh, clutter items that came with the outdoor retreat pack, like just with, like the cereal boxes or like the one with like hot chocolate. I just think they're really nice little features that really make a house actually feel lived in. don't actually end up using the coffee table that I end up placing down now which is kind of a shame I don't think it really ended up fitting in very well but I always forget that it exists so whenever I remember it or like I notice it I'm like ooh, I should try to fit this in but like I never end up being able to get have a build where it like fits in right to it I don't know um, maybe it would be better outside I don't or maybe a luxurious like patio type thing, I'm not too sure, but it's such a cute item. Another thing that I really wanted to include but I just didn't have the space for was a fireplace. I think that would have added an even more homier touch to the build. Uh, so if you end up downloading this build and you're able to find a way to do that, to add that in, I think that would look really cool. I also don't have a TV in it, but I didn't wasn't too sad about that because like it's a family vacation, like a cottage, like you're not going to spend a lot of time watching TV. Um, I've only been to one cottage and it did not have a TV, like it has a TV physically, but not like cable or, or internet or anything. And so that's kind of my only reference point off of that. I can't imagine going away to a cottage and spending your time watching TV. <laughs> so I just, I didn't really have the room for it and so I wasn't really too sad about not including it.
something else that I think really completed the build was putting the laptop on the kitchen counter in most of my house builds. I will have an office area, but this is a vacation home, and so it's unlikely that that would be there. And so I figured maybe if somebody just had to do some work while on vacation, or maybe they got away to either to to do work away from a busy life and that's just where they were on a kitchen with the kitchen counter or maybe the kids had to do homework but uh, I thought it was just one more feature that made the home feel that much more lived in and realistic. So this room is designed for a couple kids to sleep in it. In total, there could be five Sims uh, sleeping at this house with the master bedroom as well with the double bed. And there's I also later put in a tent outdoors for someone else to sleep in. Another option if you were to download this house is to delete the couch in the living room and replace it with a Murphy bed if you have tiny living. Uh, it could also fit in dogs or cats if you wanted to bring your pets along if you have Sims 4 um, Cats and Dogs expansion. I think the items for the pets could very easily be thrown on in there. I didn't include them but it would be an easy adjustment. Also, even though this build was made with the idea of it being a vacation home and in the world of uh, that came with outdoor retreat, you could definitely download it and put it in Willow Creek or Newcrest or somewhere like that or Windenburg uh, and live in it full time. Or I think uh, there, I've heard of a mod being available uh, to make the vacation worlds, uh, permanent home, permanent worlds. I'm not too sure. I don't use mods, but um, yeah. So it doesn't have to be a vacation home if uh, you're interested in living in, in full time. So this is the master bedroom and I think it turned out really cute even though it is so different than uh, my typical style. It's definitely very beige and it's definitely an older style. Um, I think I tend to make uh, builds that are much more colorful and usually they have uh, boho inspirations, uh, definitely a bit more modern. Uh, but this in this home it's certainly it's not a very colorful home, but I just still think it's just so homey and cute and I just think it turned out really well.
think this wallpaper is also super cute. It came with Realm of Magic game pack. Uh, I think that, that pack is full of a lot of gems that are just super cute. Uh, but this wallpaper in particular, it's so, like, you could use it a, across any build. It definitely does not have to be uh, something in Glimmerbrook, the world from that pack, but, uh, or anything to do with Supernatural. I think it's, it's super cute and works for anything. It again, just turned out really cool, very different from other types of builds that I've done before. I used all the items from Outdoor Retreat, like with the shower and sink and just the very woodsy vibes going and I think it's really cool. I think it's certainly like, it looks like something that you would find in a cottage. Moving on to the backyard, and like I said for, uh, near the beginning of the video, I am mostly just moving around landscaping to fit the house that I built, as well as to as well as moving around some of the items to fit to fit it. I add a few items myself, like the tent and more chairs, and I add a hot tub. Uh, the hot tub that I add is the one that was free with base game in an update for the 20th anniversary, but I, before uploading it to the gallery, I do actually switch it out with a, with a hot tub from, uh, the pack that it came, the stuff pack that those came from, uh, I'm, I think, I think it was Perfect Patio, I'm not too sure, but, um, just because it's a little smaller and less obnoxious, and then, especially with the house being not that big, the hot tub was probably the size of a room. Like it, so, and I think just it looked not that the other one is technically smaller, but I think with the roof over it just makes it look massive. So yeah, but um, so I'm gonna be finishing up the build really, really shortly. So please like and subscribe. I would very much appreciate that, and I hope you enjoy it. And if you would like to download it from the gallery, I put the link in the description. Thank you for watching.